Welcome to the Venture BC Sailing Channel. This is Venture, my 1988 Catalina 30. This is me. My name is Kiana, and this is my partner, Marianne. And this week's maintenance video is changing your fuel filters. To get started on changing our fuel filters, we'll find our fuel shutoff and we'll close the valve. Next, we can follow the fuel line and find our primary filter. My primary filter or off-engine filter is a Raycor with a clear bottom. The clear bottom allows you to see if you have any water or gunk in your fuel, so it's good to check this every so often. We'll be pulling this off along with the filter and giving it a clean. So to remove and replace the filter, place a bucket underneath and twist it off. You might need a filter wrench to get it started or a strap wrench. Um, I always do mine hand tight so I can usually just twist them off by hand. That's all they need to seal. And yeah, you'll have fuel spilling off. Whatever's after the shut off will still come out. So have an absorbent pad ready and keep that underneath. And now that you've got it off, you can just kind of clean up the area and replace it. I have this great small oil filter wrench. Usually they're quite big. This is just a little guy from Canadian Tire super handy on small sailboat engines. So. Put something between here. Go. Um, not worried about damaging this old filter, but I'm gonna be careful with the glass bowl. Well, plastic, but all right. It's not too bad. There's some gunk in there. Filter's definitely dirty, so I'm glad I'm cleaning, uh, changing it. So I'm just gonna wipe the inside of the bowl out, rinse, just put a little bit of diesel in there and rinse it out, and then put the new filter on. All right, bowl is nice and clean, and now I've got my new filter, and the new filter comes with some new O-rings, which we will use. You can take a look at where the O-rings were on the old one. The big thick one goes on the top. It's in there and the thin one goes on the bowl. You'll wanna get some diesel and run it along the O-ring to help. So you're just kind of lubricating the seal basically. Yeah, it's good to make sure everything's clean. There's no defects. There's no uh, dirt or anything on the surface that will be sealing it. Same thing, just lubricate the O-ring on the top. And then what I'm gonna do to help me um, make it easier to prime is I'm going to fill the filter with some of the fuel. You're just going to install the filter hand tight. Do not over tighten or use a wrench. All right, here is my secondary filter. Got a oil absorbent cloth underneath, and I'm gonna use this bucket if I can fit it. So once it's done dripping, you can pull that bucket out. Still have the bilge cloth in there catching those drips. And take your new filter. And before you install it, it's a good idea to make sure it's gonna fit. Yeah, same thing. Feel on the O ring. Now you can open your fuel valve. And I have an electric fuel pump or lift pump. So I just need to turn the ignition key on, 
crack the vent screw, which is on top of the filter housing. And eventually fuel will come out because turning the key on turns the electric fuel pump on. If you don't have an electric fuel pump, you'll have a little manual toggle on your lift pump. And this you'll need to pump back and forth to get fuel to come out while you crack the vent screw and wait until you no longer see air escaping and it's just fuel. After both filters are installed, you can get ready to run the engine. Open your seacock for your raw water intake or if you're on the hard like I am in this video, put your hose for the intake in a bucket of water or connect it to a hose of water source. Before I start my engine, I always make sure I'm in neutral and I advance the throttle a bit. Make sure the shutoff is pushed in, turn the key, hold the glow plug. And push start. Don't forget to check for leaks on both fuel filters and the vent screw. A common area for leaking is the O-rings. Often when you remove the old filter, the old O-ring can get stuck to the housing. So make sure you remove the old O-ring with the old filter. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed the do-it-yourself maintenance video and if you have any specific videos you'd like to see in the future. Don't forget to subscribe.